Hi, it's Mark from Top Local. We're here with Bernie Pollock, Pollock Automotive in Vancouver, Vancouver's best auto service experience, 21 time winners of best auto repair in Vancouver as voted by their customers. We're talking cars. How are you doing today, Bernie? Doing very well today. So 2008 Subaru Forester that was in for a maintenance service. What was happening with this all wheel drive vehicle? Um, well, not a lot. It was actually just in for routine uh, maintenance service, uh, due for an oil change. Uh, it was due for a B service. And uh, so that's what we did. So how often do you recommend doing a B service on a vehicle? Usually every second service. So, so the first, so the sort of, well, I'll say first service would be uh, an A service uh, and second would be a B and you alternate between the two of them. Usually, um, it's good to do a B service probably once a year, but it depends on how much you drive. You know, there's some people who drive a lot uh, would probably need it more frequently, and other people who don't drive a lot, a little less frequently. So what's done during a B service? So B service is, is essentially an oil and filter change, and then a full maintenance inspection. So a full vehicle inspection, uh, wheels off, inspect the brakes, measure the brakes, uh, it's inspect the steering suspension system, test the battery and charging system, pressure test the cooling system, uh, you know, full visual, let's say full visual inspection for oil leaks, fluid leaks, look at all the fluids, um, you know, actually inspect the fluid levels and qualities. And um, we also lube the door locks, hinges and latches, which is a good thing to do on a sort of annual basis. So your doors don't, don't uh, start creaking too soon just little preventative maintenance items like that. So that's basically uh, kind of sums up the B service. So I know you do digital inspections and I actually have one. I'm gonna share my screen with this and we can just go through that. We can talk about that. Yeah, awesome. All right, so here we're at the bottom. I'll zip up to the top. So this is, this is from, uh, this is not from the Subaru, just to be clear. This is from uh, your Toyota Benza that uh, you used to own. Yes. And so, yeah, let's just, let's just scroll down. So this is, you know, as a, as a client, this is, this is the inspection you'll get. And, and by the way, you know, when you get the inspection, it doesn't say from Pollock Automotive, it comes, uh, what, what did, what did the, uh, it's got a, it's an 800 number, um, or it's, it's a, it's from the, the provider, whoever, whatever auto serve, I guess, is the provider power, yeah. powering this service that you provide. And then yeah. they, they just send it from their phone number. So it's a text that you get. Yeah, and then we also send it by text or email or both. So, so, but it won't it won't say from Pollock Automotive. So, just so you know, you know, it just if it seems unusual, it, it you know, open it up because it'll be from us. And then you know, so we have a a reason for today's visit. Sometimes you know, a client will come in with oh, there's some clunking noises or certain issues that 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 we can put on the inspection and address. And then other than that, you know, things are broken down into good you know well green amber and red essentially and green are all the, the items that are good and don't need any servicing at the present time um and um see so you can see a variety of some of the things that we look at lights uh battery the battery is tested belts you know visual inspection on the belts um, brakes are measured um you see on this on uh, mark's vehicle here there's 10 millimeters in the front brake pads which is very thick uh, we also have photographs of things as well that you can look at Usually we take pictures of things that are problematic. Sometimes we'll take pictures of things that are okay, but usually, you know, problematic items, as you can see that here's a list of suspension components, uh, you know, some brake components, suspension components. We, we inspect tire treads are measured. And then uh, here we get into the Amber items. These are suggested items. So, you know, the, the, the engine air filter was, was, was dirty, not severe. So it could be left till next time. Cabin air filter recommended only, uh, you know, as, as a check records, because cabin air filters are usually in, involve removing the actual filter to inspect. And so by the time you do that, you may as well just change it. So again, it's, it's important to know the, the service records of the vehicle. Uh, we'd recommended a fuel injection cleaning on this vehicle, basically, again, check records. So there was no red items on this vehicle, nothing that needed to be done right away. So that's the, um, that's basically uh, kind of a, how your inspection looks. If there's a, if there are problems, like you say, we find a, a loose part, an extremely dirty fluid, uh, you know, something we think should be serviced, maybe not in instant immediately, but you know, really soon that, that gets a red mark. So, so this, I know this was a good vehicle for you. There wasn't a whole lot that uh, tended to uh, happen, but uh, the good news with our owner of the Subaru, he, he was all uh, greens and oranges too. So this car, this car was in good shape for, for this time around too. Uh, you know, I'd share the inspection, but it's kind of hard to do that with uh, keeping client confidentiality. So thanks for sharing that, Mark. So you have some pictures? 
I do. So let's yeah, let's have a uh, let's have a look at a few pictures here um, of of this service. So there's our 08 Subaru Forester, excellent condition. It's you know well ma well maintained vehicle. Here's a few pictures of things that we do include. You know I would include in the inspection. So you know this again. These are shots that we just put right into the uh, inspection report and send to the client. So you can see the antifreeze, nice blue clean uh, Subaru antifreeze, good to about minus 45 or 50. You know so there's a there's a picture of something. Good on the vehicle about battery test. Again, as our battery tester, uh, you know, verifies that the battery's in 100% data charge, good, good condition. This this tester will actually say if the battery's bad, or you know, sometimes there are readings that would indicate to us that we may want to replace the battery. Brakes. We measure brakes. Um, this is this thing here. You can't really see, but it's four millimeters on the brake pad. You can just sort of see inside the wheel. This is the brake rotor. This is the brake caliper here. So it's kind of a close-up shot if you don't don't really know what you're looking at it all just looks like a bunch of metal but the brake rotors there this is the brake pad assembly here and this is the actual pad material that 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 the friction material that wears out and the metal backing plate you definitely don't want to get too thin on this but four millimeters is still good for a while i figure the way this person drives these brakes will be good for six months to a year on the front of this vehicle so again there's a picture of that and uh, as a final photo we have the actual engine compartment on the vehicle so this is a the 2.5 liter Subaru intake manifold. This is still metal. They, they, have, they have now gone to plastic intake manifolds, um, but this is metal. Air filter box over here. So we, you know, we inspect the air filter, um, air conditioning hoses. I'll just point out a few things. The brake, brake fluid reservoir over here, engine oil fill, dipstick. Drive belts are located under here. So we visually inspect those to make sure they're, inspect the condition. The power steering fluid is located over here. Uh, battery. Those are a few few things uh, that you know. Just a few little highlights under the hood. Uh, this is a this is a Subaru. They call it a boxer engine. It's basically a flat engine. So the the pistons instead of being vertical are are, are side sideways mounted. Uh, the only other vehicles that do that are Porsches um, and in you know, the 911s uh, style. And uh, of course, old Volkswagens. This is like a kind of like an old Volkswagen Beetle. So it's a uh, Subaru seems to be kind of the most common user of this kind of engine, but it, it actually works really well, very reliable. And, uh, you know, one thing is good about it, very low center of gravity. The engine sits very low, so uh, it's a, that's a positive thing for vehicle handling and stability. So the inspection sounds very thorough. Would that find any issue that might be going on with my car or anything that would be coming up? No, it, it won't. Um, it, you're right. It is very thorough. We look at a lot of things, but you know, there's uh, there are, if, if your vehicle has specific concerns, especially say the engine's not running properly, we don't address those type of things in this inspection. It's more of a, a visual maintenance inspection to kind of give you an idea of, of, you know, where, as you can see things like brakes and, you know, tires and suspension issues we look at. So if your vehicle has some clunks when you go over bumps, there's, there's a pretty good chance this inspection will find them. If you have a, uh, you know, quite a, a major coolant leak uh, will find will generally find that as well. Uh, but there are a lot of, there are a lot, are a lot of things that aren't covered in this inspection that, that require further diagnostics. And but you know we can this is a good starting place. Um, you know, and if further tests are needed, then we can advise you from there. So how many kilometers were on this Subaru? This this vehicle is just shy of ninety thousand kilometers. So really good shape. I mean, you know, underneath. Uh, I mean, there wasn't even a drip or a weep of oil coming from anywhere. Um, we don't have any record of doing the head gaskets. I'm not sure if the owner has had them done or, uh, you know, ninety thousand kilometers is still not too high. But there's, you know, we've done many Subaru head gaskets at you know at four ninety thousand k's. But these are in excellent shape. So, so yeah, really nice and real nice clean car. And were there any issues? Did you find anything wrong with the vehicle? No, just a few fluids that we'd, we'd recommended a few fluids based on mileage and age that were discolored uh, from a maintenance point of view. The transmission fluid is looking discolored and the power steering uh, differential fluids as well. Uh, they look clean, but it's, it's good to replace those fluids on a, on a time basis because often you can, you can, you know, open the inspection plug, say on a differential fluid, you look, oh, that fluid looks clean. It, you know, looks perfect. Then you drain it out. And there's a little, a few little metal flakes and filings and things that, you don't really get to see until you actually drain the fluid. So, so it's good to, you know, be aware of the time and the age of these fluids and, and, and often just change them based on time. But other than that, it's the only thing we found with the vehicles. I mentioned the brakes, four millimeters on the front, you know, probably recommend six months to a year to replace those based on how much the owner drives the car. So Pollock Automotive Services, a lot of Subarus. How's the Forester for reliability? Yeah, it's a really good, reliable car. You know, I was thinking about this, you know, when I, 
put that question, you know, down. And, and you know, Subarus are basically the cars are, are the same on a lot of models. So they're not, it's not like a Forester's a lot different than an Impreza or a, uh, an Outback. The, a lot of them share the same drivetrain, the same engine. So the, the reliability is pretty much the same across models. Of course, the WRX is a, is a different bird or, or the, uh, the uh, H6 uh, Outback with the six cylinders, a different, you know, different uh, vehicle in some ways. But overall, super reliable, really good vehicles. I mean, head gaskets are certainly the, the big issue on these vehicles. Um, but other than that, they're, you know, pretty, pretty good. So if you're looking for a good maintenance shop to look after your vehicle or you need service on your Subaru, the guys to see are Pollock Automotive, 604-327-7112 to book your appointment. You have to call and book ahead. They're always busy, 604-327-7112. Check out the website, pollockautomotive.com or the YouTube channel, Pollock Auto Repair. Hundreds and hundreds of articles and videos for your viewing pleasure. And thanks so much for watching and listening. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Bernie. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for watching.